everyone, Miss Caitlin here and welcome to Creative Clubhouse Stories. Today I'm wearing a tan sweater with gold hoop earrings. I have dark brown hair that's in a ponytail and I'm against a green background. I am so excited to play today. Can you believe that it is our final week celebrating Women's History Month? It went by so fast and we've learned so much. Do you remember the three women that we've celebrated so far? That's right, Frida Kahlo, Helen Keller, Wilma Pearl Mankiller, and today we celebrate Yoshiko Yoshida. Before we read, let's warm up our hearts, bodies, and minds. Can you show me your heart? Very nice. Give it a nice rub and give yourself a nice squeeze. How are you feeling today? Show me with your body. Ready? On the count of three, show me how you're feeling. One, two, three. <clears throat> well, I'm feeling a little bit sad today because it's our last week celebrating together. How are you feeling? Well, if you're feeling a little bit sad like me, I bet some deep breaths will help. Here we go. Let's breathe with our butterfly breath. Arms out, wiggle those fingers. Put those hands together, take a deep breath in. Hold it open and breathe out. Let's do that two more times. Here we go, arms out, wiggle those fingers. Hands together, breathe in. Hold it open, breathe out. And one more time, arms out, wiggle those fingers. Hands together, deep breath. Hold it open, breathe out. Oh. I feel better already. And now it's time to warm up our bodies. Since this is our last Women's History Month video, I think that we should give a special shout out to women with our warm up today. So let's reach those arms way up like we always do, but this time we're gonna say, women are so powerful. Nice, and then we're gonna reach down, 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 down to the ground and say, women are so smart. And then we're gonna come up and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle and say, women are so creative. And then we're gonna put our arms way out like a starfish and say, women can do big things. Oh. All of the women that we've learned about so far this month have shown us that women are powerful. They are smart, they are creative, and they can do big things. Things. Let's give one final shake and round of applause for all of the women that we've learned about, all of the women who have changed history, and all of the women who will change history. Woo! Celebratory wiggle! Now it's time to read about Yoshiko Yoshida. Why is for Yoshiko? Elementary school teacher and author of more than 25 children's books. Born in the United States to parents from Japan, Yoshiko Yoshida grew up with both Japanese and American traditions. As a young girl, she often didn't appreciate her Japanese heritage and didn't want to learn to read and write in Japanese as her parents wished. She did like to write, though, and she made her first booklet about her dog, which had died. During World War II, Yoshiko was imprisoned in an American internment camp in Topaz, Utah, along with her parents and her sister. Eventually, the government allowed her to leave to go to college. Later, during a visit to Japan, she studied and admired Japanese art and culture, which she has shared with others through her many children's books. In her books, Yoshiko writes about the pride and self-esteem of Japanese Americans, which she did not find in the books she had read as a child. A quote from Yoshiko Yoshida. I had also discovered that writing in the booklet was a means not only of holding on to the special magic of joyous moments, but of finding comfort and solace from pain as well. It was a means of creating a better ending than was possible in real life. Yoshiko Yoshida used pictures and words in the form of children's books to tell her story. 
Now we learn from the story she wrote. Stories are important because they leave traces of our history behind. What's your story? Let's create a story of our own by making a book, just like Yoshiko Yoshida. Take a small stack of paper like this, and then fold it in half like this. Have a grown up help you staple it in the middle, and then you can draw or write a story of your own. We'll turn it into your own picture book. I can't wait to see what stories you tell. Thank you so much for celebrating Women's History Month with me these past few weeks. Women's History Month is coming to an end, but women all over the world are doing important things every day. So let's continue to celebrate women, hear their voices and learn from all that they do. Thank you so much. I hope to see you at the end of the week for our Creative Clubhouse class on Lucia La Luchadora. It'll be so much fun. Until then, keep playing and I hope to see you soon.